Chat Gothai, The Battle of the Trees. I was in many forms before I was freed from restraint. I was a slender mottled sword forged by a skillful hand. I was a droplet in the air. I was a star's radiant light. I was a word inscribed. In my prime I was a book. I was a lantern's light. For a year and a half together. I was a bridge that spanned sixty estuaries. I was a path. I was an eagle. I was a coracle on the sea. I was the effervescence in a drink. I was a drop of rain in a shower. I was a sword in the hand. I was a shield in battle. I was a ringing harp string under nine years enchantment and foam upon the water. I was a fire's sparking tinder. I was a tree in a forest fire. I am not one who does not sing. I have sung since boyhood. I sang in the treetops before Britain's ruler. I pierced the stall-fed horses of those whose wealth is in fleets. I pierced a great beast, horny scaled, on whom were a hundred heads and a fierce warband beneath the root of his tongue. Another warband is found in each of his neck's napes, a black forked toad with a hundred talons, a serpent speckled, crested, A hundred souls for their sins are tormented in his flesh. I was in the fortress of Nevenhir Nine Teeth when trees and vegetation attacked. Bards were singing and soldiers fiercely fighting. The resurgence of the Britons was brought about by Gwydion. On the Creator he called, on the One All-Powerful, that he might aid them, the High One who made them. The High One answered him, By means of earth and word, conjure up majestic trees, a hundred warbands in one host, and impede the vigorous one, the wealthy battle-giver. When the trees were conjured up, an unexpected source of hope, The trees hewed at the enemy with their tough tendrils. Around the armies they attacked for thirty days of battle. Bitterly a woman wailed and lamentation broke out. A woman in the van of the fight, the spoil, the buck of Anhum. No disaster befell us, from blood of men up to our thighs, the greatest cataclysm of the three that in the world have come to pass. And one came about from the flood and its fable, the gods sacrifice the second, the third is doomsday yet to be. Alders at the head of the file were first to strike, while Willow and Rowan were late to the fray. Spiky blackthorn eager for slaughter, the skillful meddler anticipating battle. The rose advanced against an angry host. Raspberry took action, raising no defensive palisade to protect his life. Privet and honeysuckle and ivy, despite the look of them, how fiercely they flew to the fray. The cherry tree taunted. Birch, despite his best intentions, was slow to don his armour, not from cowardice, but rather because of his bigness. Goldenrod kept his resolve, a foreigner over foreign torrents. Pine in the place of honour contended for the chair. Ash did fine deeds before the princes. Elm, despite his wealth, did not veer by so much as a foot. He slashed at the centre, the wing and the rear guard. Hazel adjudged the weapons for the fight. Dogwood 
of blessed life, a bull of battle, lord of the fray, a great host brings salvation. Beech flourished and holly grew green. He was in the valorous combat. Skillful, splendid, renowned white form, his hand dealt destruction. Vine the destroyer, hewed in the battle, Bracken the despoiler, broom in the vanguard of the war band, was wounded in the rucked up ground. Gorse was not fortunate, despite which he marshaled the forces. Heather, renowned pillager, was conjured into the army too. Black Cherry the pursuer, oak of the swift battle cry, heaven and earth trembled before him. Woad the valiant warrior, his name worthy of record on wax tablets. The sickly tree's onslaught caused terror. He would, he did, repulse others and stabbed at them. Pear caused oppression on the field of battle. A terrifying array was surging clover. Shy chestnut, fierce adversary among mighty trees. Jet is black. Mountain rounded, the trees are armed. The great oceans are swifter since I heard the battle cry. The crown of birch grows leaves for us. Its vigor strengthened us. The crown of the oak ensnared us with my veru song. The laughing sea wave that covers the rock a lord who disdains the shallow shore. Not for mother and father was I made, and my creation was created for me from nine kinds of element, from fruit, from fruits, from the first fruit in the beginning, from primroses and flowers, from blossom trees and shrubs, from earth, from sod was I wrought, from nettle blossom, from the water of the ninth wave. Math conjured me, before I was completed, Gwydion conjured me, great enchantment wrought my magic staff. Ayuris, Ayuron, Ayuron, by Modron, by five skilled enchanters akin to godparents was I raised. The ruler conjured me when a great area was burned. The wisdom of sages conjured me before the creation of the world, when I had my being, when the world was still small. A lovely poet of prophetic gifts I possess in song all the utterance of tongues. I played in daylight. I slept in purple. I was in the citadel with Dylan, son of the sea. My bed in the center of the fortress lay between the knees of kings. My two eager spears, from the heavens they come, in the silver stream of Anu. Ready for battle they come, Four score hundred men I pierced, despite their greed. They are no older, they are no younger than me in their wrath. Everyone had the passion of a hundred men, and I had nine hundred. My mottled sword wins me honoured blood. A lord arose from his burial place. By a meek one was the boar slain. He made, he remade, he made languages and peoples, radiant his name, strong his hand, he directed the hosts brilliantly. They scattered like sparks from a drop on high. I was a speckled snake on a hill. I was a viper in a lake. I was a billhook wielded by wolf-headed warriors. I was a stout hunting spear, 
in my cloak, in my cauldron, I prepared not ill. Four score clouds of steam the cauldron brings to all. Five times fifty bondwomen is its value with my knife. Six yellow horses, a hundred times better is my stallion, Melingan, as swift as a seagull. I myself am not tardy. Between the sea and shore, I caused a massacre of nine hundred of the foremost warriors. Of ruby red is my round shield. Of glistening gold, my shield ring. None was born in the breach. None visit me now except Gorongui. From the water meadows of Aetru. Long and pale are my fingers. It is long since I was a herdsman. I shapeshifted into a champion before I was a man of letters. I shapeshifted, I circulated. On a hundred islands I slept. I stayed in a hundred forts. Druids, wise men, prophesy Arthur. There is that which has been before. And it is of that which has been that they sing. And one came to pass because of the tale of the flood and Flay's spear piercing and the judgment day to come like a splendid jewel in a golden ornament. Thus I am resplendent. Thus I am exhilarated by the prophecy of the Pharaoh. And thus ends the Cat Godly, the Battle of the Trees. May all who hear it be blessed. So may it be.